Hey, PBO people. What's going on? What it's the analyst, this? Alec Azams. Back with week three pickums, And we're... It's me. <laughs> Your mic fucking beat. <laughs> and uh, the Vancouver Valiants. Hello. All right, let's jump into it. Wow, here we let's go. Let's just get into it. Just get into it. All right, we've got the, the Crown Points to Titans versus the Frederick Klefkies. Yeah, this is a this is a cool game. I didn't even know Orange had necklace stack. I didn't recognize that actually. I forgot. Um, uh, so Titans got Iron Hands and he got a uh, Registeel. I do remember that. That's good because like Klefki's kind of a fake Steel type, and you already have a Sferi and Diancie. So you know, uh, pretty nice. Uh, still got the Trick Room angle going on, but like doesn't need to be Trick Room. Um. So, Pokemon that, like, look good here, I would say, you know, Zarud. Any setup is going to be pretty overwhelming for this of Titans. Like, I think Nasty Plot, DOS, he doesn't really have a great switch into that. Uh, it could be really problematic to try and get in on that. Registeel would have to come in, but I imagine you could be running, like, Focus Blast, and that could be really, really dangerous. Um, Zarud, just knockoff spam is really good. Obviously, Mandibuzz is here, and it's not Terra Electric. Like, we've seen Terra Electric Zarud deal with the, uh, Mandibuzz before. But instead of Setup Zarud, I imagine it could be just, like, Bandit or something and just do a ton of damage with knockoff and just spam knockoff over and over. Because, like, the resist, like I said, our Mandibuzz, who doesn't want to get knocked off, especially if rocks get up from, like, the Garchomp. Um, Belly Bolt looks Ignore you know, the pretty decent. Stack. Could... Ignore the Knackle stack. He doesn't have it. <laughs> Shouts out, yeah. Raven. Okay. All right, Belly Bolt looks pretty decent, I would say. I think, um, you know, it can do decent against hands, maybe. Uh, for Satitans, I think, uh, like, Terra Electric uh, Satitan could be really, really dangerous. They probably need to bring, like, a max defense. Uh, maybe Water Belly Bolt in order to have a chance uh, to, to live. Uh, or, like, maybe... Sh uh, because you can't even be Shuka uh, Quillfish. He has to be... He has to choose between Shuka and Wakan, right? Or else the because the, the Satitan can run the electric move, um. So I think Belly Satitan actually has a pretty good chance here. Yeah, but Belly Ball doesn't get Volts Absorb, does it? No, it gets no. Static. It gets Electromorphosis. Yeah, and it gets a third ability, but it's not Volt Absorb. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, so um, I, Satitan definitely seems like his uh, crown points win con this week. I would say. Yeah, it, it looks very scary. I would just be worried about all this the setup that could happen on Klefki's side and could overwhelm uh, Satitan. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, because yeah, if he doesn't if he doesn't get a good scenario for um, Satitan to come in, then uh, it could be problematic. I know what was it? It was it last, last week he tried to get um. I don't know. It was either last week or week one. He tried to get Satitan in. It didn't really work. Properly. That was week one. Yeah. That was week one? Okay, so yeah, it was... It... Week two, I think it wasn't Satitan that came. It was like a a weird like a defensive battle that he ended up losing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, if he gets... If he's able to get it in with the Chili Reception, he gets a defense boost. It depends on what Mons are left, because there's things like... Because he, he has to get the Belly Drum off, too, to, like, to actually like make use of it um i mean it it does it re, i mean it is like you said like it is his win con he's got a lot of things that he could get it in to like set up like he could um, yeah he's got, got a lot of pivoting five owed this um, week by lion city yeah. so, and the reason was it was a setup golden go i would just be i think the exact same thing is a problematic like nasty plot or sword stance valiant like setup is just really problematic for Titans. Because he has a lot of bulk, but no unaware, and a lot of passivity, these mons can just set up uh, moves to get their special attack or attack sky high, and then he gets into a really uh, bad situation. Yeah, how, how much has he used, like, has he used Azura Kasui much? I don't know, like, um, if he brought it the first Yeah, he brought, it, he brought it this week, too. Okay. It, it, that, Azura a... Kasui is good, it... but it's usually not strong enough to, like, solo carry, and it's his fastest mon. Yeah, that's that's tough for that thing being your fastest mon. He could run like a, um, I could I could see like AV Iron Hands yeah. doing pretty good this match. Maybe like helping with a uh, Deoxys Speed or even Valiant in some kind yeah, of way. Yeah, I mean Deoxys like, Speed will still do a lot of damage it. for sure. Yeah, it, he could get like a like a knockoff off and like. I, I think probably... Iron Hands is pretty good this match with just with the coverage it gets. Like I said, Belly Bolt would probably have to be the answer. Um. 
I think Ursaluna is really strong here because uh, Klefkis doesn't have a ghost type. So he can yeah. kind of spam facade. And the only switch in is Empoleon, who's weak to ground, right? So it's probably going to end up being a Shuka Empoleon, if I had to guess. Um, I, I think it's it's just way more difficult for Satyans to get the win. If Trick Room gets up and Ursa Luna gets in, I think that's another win count for Satyans. So I, like, yeah, Satyans that... has ways to break through, but I'm definitely leaning towards Klefkis. Yeah, Trick Room team could be sneaky good this week. Yeah, especially I mean, with the, a... the team's built for Trick Room, for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, the... the... Does Diancy and Slowking both get Trick Room, right? Yeah, Diancy gets it, yeah. Slowking gets it. Uh, it's probably going to be Slowking that sets it, if I had to guess, because it can Chili. But Diancy can also Baton Pass. Yeah, he could like he could have like a, a Trick Room team, and then maybe... Ursa like, Luna and Iron Hands both take advantage. Yeah, and then like if, if it doesn't work initially, then maybe you can fall back on like Chili receptioning into Sit Titan to try to sweep yeah. after the, the, that. The offensive pressure is definitely there. I just worry about setup from Orange. I think I'm going to go 60-40 in favor of the Klefkis. Yeah, I would, I'd pre- I'll say, I'd say like 70-30, just knowing how Orange plays. I, I think he's it, it, he wins a lot of his matches, obviously, but it, it's... He he is definitely one of the better players for sure. We gotta at least take that into account. I haven't. Um, I'm gonna. I'll pay attention more to the Titans and see how he does this week for sure. All right, next game. We have the Norwalk Noiverns versus the Worcester Roopers. Norwalk not up to a great start. Changed his whole team. Has two baby mons. I don't know if that Zora was real. I think it's fake. Um. Has only Avalug as his Terra captain. Uh, Whoopers hasn't played his week two game as of this recording, but he did play week one and he did win. So I think, you know, Whoopers has some scary threats here. I think Iron Moth is really, really scary, you know, for Jirachi. Uh, it has a coverage for Annihilate, but it has the sludge move for um, Primarina. I, I think Raging Bolt, actually, now that I'm looking at it, is really scary for Whoopers. Whoopers doesn't actually have a really good answer to it. Raging Bolt is kind of terrifying in, like, every aspect of the of, of its ability. Gliscor is a really good counter to Roaring Moon, I find. It usually beats it 1v1, even if it's, like, with the booster attack, even with, like, a 1D dance up. Gliscor will 1v1 it because of the protects, because Earthquake does, like, over half, because Glys- uh, Roaring Moon's defense really isn't that good. Um... I think this matchup might actually be slightly in Norwalk's favor. I don't know if I want to pick him. I think uh, Venusaur is, you know, decent here. It hits Donphan and Enamorous. Enamorous, another Pokemon that can be, you know, somewhat problematic. There's Jirachi, obviously, but it does get Earth Power. But I do think Jirachi, you know, could be annoying. It's it's probably going to be a Rocky Helmet Skarmory, if I had to guess. Skarmory does a pretty good job at walling, like, Slitherwing and, you know, a physical Jirachi. And can come in on Avalug, too. And, like, even if Avalug starts rapid spinning, it doesn't care. Especially if it has, you know, the Rocky Helmet. The Avalug's taking that chip. Um, Annihilate has an okay matchup. I'm worried about, like, the damage Enamorous and Moth could do to it. Well, it tries to set up bulk ups, and if it's not bulk up and is instead like just Scar for Final Gambit, maybe it'll Final Gambit the Skarmory because Skarmory's going to wall it. Like if it's just, you know, not set up kind of maybe a, ha- a hazard lead, but I don't think it's a great matchup for Annihilate. It's just okay. It can deal with Roaring Moon somewhat. Um, Ice Q and Benat, I don't think do anything here, uh, but. I, I, I do like Raging Bolt a lot. I think that mod is really, really scary here. I think, based on what I'm seeing, I might actually slightly... Eh, I'm going to go Whoopers. I'm going to go 55-45 Whoopers. That's going to be my guess. What do you think, Valiance? Um, I, I'm looking at Norwalk's team. He does, I feel like he does kind of have that, like, six mon syndrome a little bit, where, like, you kind of, like, know what six mons he's going to bring. Um, Unless, like, he needs, like... Avalug for like a specific reason or Venusaur. It's kind of just like I feel like it's the top row um Gliscor and like Iron Moth or not Iron Moth of uh, Slitherwing. Um but he he could ha he has some something he could do with the other two guys as well, this the starters that he has. What's his other Terra captains? Like is it just it's not just Avalog, right? It is just Avalog. He has never claimed another one. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know. We don't allow Iron uh, or not. So we don't allow Slitherwing to. We to do allow Slitherwing. That's what it should be, but he hasn't yeah. claimed it. Okay, he hasn't claimed it yet. I mean, I think 
If this he was Terra Slitherwing, I think it would be really good here, but it's not. So yeah, he he hasn't he can't do it this week then, right? Like no, he can't. So okay. he's gonna get go- he's gonna get goobed by Skarmory, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean the- he, he gets Wild Charge, but it, that won't do enough, especially if it's Rocky Helmet. You're gonna take a ton of chip. Yeah, I guess does the week technically started yet? Can he still do it, or is it just he can't because it's Sunday? I don't uh, know. The week he hasn't can. started yet. It starts in literally it, two yeah. hours. Oh, he can't do it. Nope. No, okay, right. so he'll have to. So I, I mean, at least re- recommendation to Norwalk is to put Terra on your. Yeah, but I mean, we've said it in all these videos, so I don't even know if he's yeah, paying attention maybe, to it. Maybe, yeah, I, I said it last week too. Um, all right, and with. Oh, well, I was gonna. That, oh, you're gonna see something. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Um, uh, at least for what I think, I like you said, fifty-five, forty-five. I'll go. I guess depending on the team, yeah, I'll, I'll probably say the same thing. I, I, I like. Worcester's chances just a little bit more. Um, yeah. Just looking at his team, I like his the the team comps he can make a little bit better. Yeah, than, we didn't uh, even talk about Mian Shao. I think Mian Shao with like some combination of uh, I think it's acrobatics. Yeah, I think that's... acrobatics is good here. Plus fighting move, plus triple axle, plus knockoff or U turn. I think like all that's pretty decent. Some some Mian Shao has decent coverage this match to you know hit him up and do some major damage. The two Terra Captains on Worcester's side, I think, like, Magnezone is just whatever. You know, uh, maybe if it's water with Terra Blast, it can kind of goob Gliscor. Uh, like, if it's water, there's nothing that can really kill it, except for, uh, I guess, the, again, Raging Bolt, so I don't know if you want to do that. Magnezone pre-Terra might actually be the Magnezone answer, so maybe Magnezone comes and doesn't Terra. Uh, but if Mesprit Terras, I worry that, you know, if it's Fairy, Jirachi is going to deal with it, so I actually don't like either of the Terra Captains very much. Other than Magnezone, like, at the end of Bolt's already dead, tearing into a water type. Yeah. I feel like just pure electric Terra might be like that, or like, maybe like Terra Fire, some, something like that. Where like Terra can, Fire is really good. He should be Fire for yeah, sure. Yeah, because that's what it used to do, right? It used to have like Hidden Power yeah, Fire to deal with like, like, like Magnapole and like Seals, like Skarmory yeah. or something. But I mean, he's got Skarmory, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. But it, it depends on the matchup for sure, but it, I can, I see. Too right. weird by that. We're gonna move on to the next game. Oh, this is an interesting one. This is probably gonna be. Uh, I don't think we've set game of the week so far. This might be one of them if there's gonna be two. Uh, the Abbotsford Agrons has have fallen to zero and two, and the Tennessee Tyranitars are up there at two and zero. This is a this is a really interesting game in my opinion. Um, so I I think like there are some. Pokemon that are really, really good here. Like, I think Terrapagos, once again, is, like, pretty decent because the, the Ghost Spectriere is going to lose that 1v1, if I'm uh, guessing correctly. Uh, so that also makes Spectriere, like, not the greatest because the normal is so obviously going to come and it's such a good normal. It makes, like, Shadow Ball spam really not viable, unfortunately, for Aggrons. But I do think mods like Heatran uh, with, like, Magma Storm are really, really good. That chip allows them to whittle down, like, the Terrapagos... It- the whittle down dragonite he has multi-scale and um shell armor so having magma storm to like chip them and do a little damage but then also still get the magma storm chip is really huge and really pivotal um i think you know okidogi is just decent this match you know quagsire is still here obviously can poison quagsire um if it terras either of them pheasantipity is here and pheasantipity can hit it super effectively with one of the stabs depending on which terra it is Sneasler uh, has, like, a chance to get a sweep going. It doesn't have, like, a great switch in uh, on the other side because the ground is um, non-existent, I want to say. I want to say non-existent unless I'm missing something. There is no ground type for the Tennessee Tyranitars. So um, I think Sneasler could actually, like, you know, do something, but you have to have the Tropagos, you know, it's shell broken. You have to have Dragonite with its multi-scale broken. He's got Terra. He's Grand got Terra Munchlax. Ground Munchlax. That's yeah. About it. Yeah. I think like Grass Knot, Nasty Plot, Thunderous is also really good this match. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, you have the Grass Knot, you have the the uh, uh, Nasty Plot and the Thunderbolt, and there's really not a good switch in. It would have to be Arboliva. Once you bait the Arboliva to Terra, um, there's like nothing he can really do because the, the plus two Thunderbolt's gonna two KO even Spadef uh, Arboliva. I have to imagine. Maybe like a Rindo Mirror Coat. I don't know if Quagsire gets Mirror Coat like Swampert does. Rindo Mirror Coat Quagsire could be in order if it gets it. I doubt it. I don't know for sure. I know it gets counter. Um, 
you know, Psych Lazar, pretty decent this match. It gets um some chip off with the knockoffs and stuff, but I don't know if you really want to bring it. Uh, Samurai, he does have like one of the best spinners in Terrapagos, so I don't know if Ceaseless Spam is really uh, that amazing, because he does have, you know, adequate water resists as well as, you know, a pretty good dark resist in uh, Okidogi. But, uh, if he wants to bring Spectre out as mainly like a blocker for Terrapagos, that could be good. Obviously, the only worry is that perhaps Terrapagos would set up on Spectre. So I don't know if he's uh, worrying too hard about that. I think um, I bet against Agrons last week, and I got rewarded for it. I think I might do the same here. I might go 55-45 in favor of the Tennessee Tyranitars, and that would put Abbotsford at 0-3 if I'm right, which would be you know crazy for the history of the PBO. Uh, I don't think that this is like an unwinnable matchup for Agrons. I think uh, Heatran can be really annoying this match. Uh, I'd be worried about Mew, but obviously you have uh, two uh, two Pokemon. It's not Terra Mew, and you have two Pokemon that can hit it really hard in Samurai and um, Spectrier. I think, you know, Agron should probably try and focus on Sneasler as a win condition, but he is going to have to, you know, get some sequencing right and get some chip in order to get that situation to come to fruition. And I think Pokemon like Terrapagos, like, you know, uh, Okidogi, potentially like Thunderous, could be really dangerous and very difficult for Abbotsford to deal with. What do you think, Vancouver? Um, looking at at least looking at like the matchups, I see what you mean by the Tyranitar is not really having like a ground type because ground is really good into Agrons for sure. Um, not having a ground type is kind of tough. I know he'll probably have to run some. He run like Earthquake on Dragonite, or does uh, yeah, Tropicos Earth... Tropicos gets Earth Power too? Yeah, right? it does. So that that's probably he'll probably need that for coverage and just to like hit a lot of things neutrally. Um, Ice is also kind of good into um, him as well, like into Agrons as well. Just like he's only got like two resistances to it. Um, that I mean, Ice is also like just a type that usually works every week. Even like Flying type as well. Um, he only also only has one resistance to Flying types. So maybe um, Thunderous, like you said, could do uh, could do something good. Um, on the other side, I mean, really just getting up uh hazards and being able to keep them up is is key too for aggrons just if he if he gets the hazards up keeps them up it just doesn't let tyranitar switch in a ton and like it'll force him to like either stand on certain mons or just not want to switch around that much to the point where like he's gotta he's he's gotta get his rapid spinners he's got two Two rapid spinners. Does he have a? I mean, I guess Mew could Mew can do anything, right? It gets defog and rapid spin. Uh, no, because it needs to no? be TMs. It needs to be TMs. It, oh, it does it. need to be TMs. Okay, yeah, I didn't, Mew doesn't I didn't get, know every get move. it. Or it just gets the moves that are learnable. I got it. Um, I guess then yeah, it does. Is his only only form of hazard removal is uh, it's Terop. Terop and Colossal. Yeah, Terop and Colossal. Yeah. Or not Colossal. Uh, Carcoal. Carcoal, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean he's got he's got a bunch of hazards himself. I mean he can yeah. he can he he has all of them on his side. I will say, um, well, I don't know if he has. Oh, he has two spikes in a uh, Mioscarada. Um, yeah, I will say our belief is pretty de important defensively here. But Ag Agrons might try something with Espeon. I do see an Espeon line with like a Calm Mind shenanigan. If like a Tinkaton is low or something, or like Okidogi goes down early, like it's been doing so far in these matches, Espeon could do something sinister. We'll have to see. All right, I think with that we'll move on to the next game. Yeah, or, do, do, do we want to do the, the yeah? I was gonna say uh, I'll, My I'll number say was 55, 45. 55, 45. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll say yeah, fifty-five, forty-five in the in Abbotsford. I'm gonna do Tyranit or Tyranitar's favor. Okay, well, well we got opposites yeah. then. All right. Next up, we got the Embors versus the Low Ponies. The Embors. The Volbeat's uh, fake. Kind of. The Volbeat's fake. Yeah, the the Volbeat is fake. Um, the Embors kind of trolling so far this season a little bit. Obviously, lost that week one due to luck. That week two brought some, you know, a little bit out there sets didn't work too well. And the low punnies uh, started off really good week one. Uh, got a little unlucky week two, unfortunately. Valiance knows all about, about that. And it uh, turned out to be a really, really uh, close game. And Mary for, gets a very rare loss in that game. Um, I do think Mary's probably 
going to end up bouncing back here. You know, the Latios looks pretty pretty dangerous. Uh, the Luster Purges are scary. It could be like a Salt Vest Meloetta to deal with that Latios. Um, I think like Terra Ice uh, Kilowattrell is pretty scary as well with Hurricane, uh, Thunderbolt, U-Turn, and uh, Terra Blast. There's not like a great switch in. Especially if it's Scarf, so it can outspeed Bundle. I think that could be like a really, you know, cool set to bring. Um, probably Weezing could come to deal with the Conkel there, because there's like not great fighting resists. Uh, I can, like maybe Clef, but uh, you're, you're dealing with a dangerous game because of Poison Jab. I think Treads is, you know, okay this match. It can, you know, do damage to, like, either Delphox or it can have Ice Spinner for Lando. Perhaps it's a Shooka Berry to take a Lando hit and Ice Spinner it back. It can hit more Pico as well. It can hit Bastionon and uh, Dragology. So you might just want to spam, like, a ground move with Treads for a bit. Uh, I don't know how good Blaziken's going to be with both Suicune and uh, Bundle here as well as uh, uh, Intimidate Landorus. It could be, a, you know, a dangerous game for Blaziken to come. I think, you know, just standard band Azu is pretty good with play rough. There's not, like, super great play rough switch-ins. And then, like, you have the Aqua Jet to chip down Lando or to chip down um, Delphox, as well as just the pure uh, water move as well, Liquidation or Waterfall, whatever you want to go with there. Uh, on Embor's side... I do think, like, Iron Bundle, there's not a great switch in on the opposing side. It might have to be, like, a Max Bid FP2 or Clefable just so it can take the moves and then heal him off. So that passivity could open things up for Embors and give him a chance to do something wacky that he really wants to do. I think there's some Meloetta set that could straight up win this game if he, like, gets it right, because Meloetta has a ton of really nice coverage. But I imagine Meloetta might be, like, a slight check to uh, Latios in this game uh, in the end. I think Suicune... Uh, I don't know if it can sweep because, you know, there's Kilowatt Rel here. But, you know, with Calm Mind, it's always going to be dangerous. Although we might be seeing an unaware Clefable. And at that point, the you know, the Calm Minds don't matter too much. And you might have to, uh, you know, go with a PP stall. We'd have to see how that went. Uh, I, I don't think Embor just has the defensive pieces to really take the hits that he's going to need to take. From, like, a combination of Kilowatt Rel and Iron Treads and Latios. And maybe even Glastrier. Because I think Glastrier could also come to this game, even though Suicune's here. Uh, I, I would prefer Kilowattrell as the Terror Captain, though, for sure. I think Kilowattrell has, like, a pretty good matchup. Uh, what do you think, Vancouver? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, let me see here. Yeah, we got the, the teams pulled up. Um, I think uh, Treads is really important in this game for, for Lopenis. Um, it's got a, a lot of... It could even, I, I could even see it being, like, a Scarf Treads or something like that, maybe just to be faster than... Uh, faster than bundle maybe if it needs to be um ground type um besides uh landorus is good into embors um kilowattrell being the terra captain would really help a lot like probably just terra ice and it can deal with pretty much everything on uh on his team um there's a lot that uh mary would have to do just uh to not um as long as she doesn't get like I don't know, set up on by like Suicune or something like that. Uh, she's got probably uh, probably a better shot at winning. I know she wants to bounce back after losing to me this last week, uh, very unfortunately. But um, I think she's got a. I think she probably's got a, a good shot at winning. Um, on Embor's side, uh, just looking at it, Bundle obviously is always just a powerhouse that you can just bring every week, and you, the, your opponent just always has to respect it and just look at it and just like I, I just you can't get swept by Bumble Bundle or just you got to deal with the the really powerful like ice and water moves. It doesn't get any like electric type moves, right? I I look at it, and I think it does. It doesn't. Um, so there's at least something with that, uh, but it does it gets something to just pretty much hit everything on Lopani's team. Uh, as far as like her terror cap or his terror captains goes, um, I don't know. It Again, I still fairy mellow weta. Fairy so mellow weta, maybe he actually has nothing to take a Draco meteor. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't. He do, he doesn't have a, a fairy type. So, yeah, so it might could... have to be fairy mellow weta for that for that. For that drop in Draco Latios. Yeah, he could just she just spam Dracos um a lot. 
Um, I wonder. Yeah, let me see. Probably you could run defensive Porygon again. That something like that. Clefable. I'm trying to think. Maybe. I don't know if you really need underwear this week. Maybe it could be. It, honestly, looking at it, maybe it could be an offensive Clefable, like a yeah. like a uh, life or magic guard Clefable. I think that could be really good into into Moochin Um Yeah, it but, could be good. Uh, Needs a move to hit Delphox, maybe Shadow Ball or something. I don't know if Clefable gets that. Something like that. But I could I could see I could see you bringing an offensive Clefable this week. But I think overall, I'd probably. Uh, I'd probably lean in favor of low punnies, maybe like 60-40. What do you think? I'm going to go 65-35 in favor of the low punnies. Kurth could cook something up, but I think there is a bit of a team disparity, and I think like uh, prep-wise, we'll, we'll have to see if Kurth can like uh, you know, get back on track to like really cool sets that are like working as well. Yeah, for sure. I know. He, I know he's got he, he cooks really good with his teams we, uh, he's just maybe just hasn't gotten to it yet but i know he's got he's got good ideas and strategies yep next time next turn yep all right the sunny side suicunes versus the pittsburgh scissors sunny side dominating so far and i uh i don't think it's gonna stop here um I think Sunnyside probably has an answer for every Mon that Scizors is going to bring. You know, just needs some phasing, probably like a defensive Tinglu with Whirlwind to get that uh, gouging on out of here. And gouging is really the only win con that Scizors has, in my opinion. Could even be a defensive Blastoise with Roar. You know, um, I, I, I could imagine a Hazard stack happening with uh, Dusclops coming, because uh, Dusclops will eat Regieleki T-Bolts if it's Spadef. And uh, then... They can't rapid spin, and every time they come in, they'll be taking massive hazards from spikes and stealth rocks set up by Ting Lu. Um, I think, you know, Hoopa Unbound, if it's physical, doesn't really have a switch in this match. Uh, it, it's really difficult to switch into knockoff for Scizors. He has to go Tauros, but he really likes to run that Tauros, like, offensively, so losing that item and taking that damage, it's just so tough. Um... I really think this is going to be a dangerous game for the Scizors, because like I don't even know if a Lucky can come because of Tingaloo, so it might be Toad's Cruel. But I think Toad's Cruel is a pretty bad Pokemon all around, so you know that could be a, a difficult situation. Uh, I think like if Vileplume just wants to sit around, it potentially can. It kind of hard walls the Tauros, so like you can't even bring your Tauros, which is really bad. Porygon Z nasty plot might be like your win con, which is again another decent reason that like Spadef Dusclops could come. He'd have to run Shadow Ball, but you know again Ting Lu could also have moves. So he'd have to be like Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Tri Attack, Nasty Plot. That could maybe do it, but obviously Mug has the tools to outspeed that set. So uh, it, it would be very difficult to get that situation. And also you know I think Mug could have a lot of phasing to get rid of these uh, these setup guys. Torn T, I don't know if it's going to be able to do anything this game. It's a pretty bad game. Torn T is really good against, like, offense and also a good against, like, balance because it can, um, you know, deal with it effectively. Maybe all offensive nasty plot Torn T, actually. You, you, you got to set up against Mug. Maybe, like, a set up, uh, set up, uh, Dio's defense with, like, stored power. That could work. Stored power and then, like, something to hit, um,. Ting Lu, but again, you're going to see it whirlwinded, whatever that other move is, because I'm assuming you're hitting, like, cosmic power, so you're not actually doing, like, real damage with whatever that, that, whatever, with whatever that other move is. Uh, Mug's going to have a lot of recovery, possible witches from Scrimtail, obvious roost and strength saps, you know, abound. Uh, and uh, Pittsburgh has a lot of mons that I, I just feel like can't break through. He doesn't have the offensive pressure to break through the fat that Mug has at all, and I, I'm going to go 80-20. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give Suicune's a very dominating chance to win this. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, I do, I, like, I, I always be a big, like, supporter of Gouging Fire just because of how well it did for me the the, the first season I had it. Um, she, uh, Mug doesn't have a lot of, like, I, I would say Fire is pretty good into her team. Um, I think Gouging Fire could, like, come out and just be really dominant, just depending on, like, if you can get the setup. It's gotta, you gotta get the, what? I don't know if you can set up because she's going to have Roar Blastoise and she's going to have yeah, I guess, 
I think yeah, you might I need to be you're... banded. You might need to be, have something with Sunny Day and be banded and spam Flare Blitz. I think that could actually be decent. Yeah, that could that could really work. There wasn't there wouldn't be many switch ins to that if you can get in because yeah, if you got like, Sunny, a... Day, Sunny Day Torn, Sunny I, Day I, Torn. Wait, does Flora just get Sunny Day? It does. It or does, Sunny Day okay. Flora just and then Baton Pass. Yeah. Yeah, no, that could that could definitely work for sure. I could also. I, it's just yeah, Gaju Fire getting in to set up. Um, does Porygon Z get like? Let me see here. Nah. It gets Ice Beam. It gets Shadow Ball. It gets Dark Pulse. It gets Tri Attack. That kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I, I, I like I I just like Porygon Z is one of my favorite Pokemon, and the, like I haven't gotten to use it yet. I might try to get it like next season, but it is it is a really cool Porygon Pokemon. Z, I like what it does. It's pretty strong, but it doesn't have go to coverage. Yeah, and it does like skill types are problematic, and it doesn't have uh, the speed really. So it kind of yeah. just gets. It is. Uh, and it, it doesn't is, have. A, it doesn't have pivoting. It, either, it so is it one of the. It might have it, you, can, you can if you had the points for it, you could Terra that thing right. That's one of the. Terra yeah, options. someone has Terra, PZ, and it's PZ, not bad yeah. as a Terra captain either. But it's also just yeah. not very fast. So it, it has a lot of issues in my opinion, and it gets stuck yeah. on the field, and it usually ends up dying. Yeah, and having Reggie like not being able to uh do I, I i could still see her bringing it um even if she has two immunities to it being volt absorb and uh ground type i think it's but, very difficult to bring the reggie yeah but I think it, you it's... have to bring one of your spinners so i think toad scroll has to come which is really bad because toad scroll's really bad <laughs> yeah he's not the he's not the greatest um, especially because vileplume could come and then vileplume's like a switch in and you can't spore vileplume so then it has like literally no value other than like knocking the vileplume off which is, you know, not not great. Yeah, I think Mo- about... Vileplume could also like stand in the face and literally like not care about half these guys. Yeah. As far as like scissors terrors go, I I would I would assume spirit tomb, just like a defensive one. Um, I don't yeah, know. Spirit tomb, he could do like the calm mind spirit tomb. I would try that if I was using scissors. See if it works in mocks or something, mm-hmm. because. Uh, you, you got it's got to have to, it's going to have to be a setup of some kind that's how you're going to beat mug it's got to be set up of some kind and also bring brick break torn or bring brick break on something um yeah torn torn gets it um i i would assume tauros gets it too yeah or i, I don't know actually because it, it doesn't have like maybe, hands but maybe maybe I'm it guessing. doesn't deoxys uh, probably gets I, it. I, I don't know i, th- I think sweekens yeah. is way too fat uh, I'm I'm gonna go eighty twenty in Suicune's favor. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll say seventy thirty, but yeah, it's pretty. It's still in Suicune's favor. All right, let's move on to the next one. Ooh, it's oh, it's a matchup: the Sod of wow. versus the Vancouver Valiants. All right, we've already built for this, so we'll keep this brief to you know not reveal too much. Um, I think you know obviously Kiram's always a threatening Pokemon. Uh. Vancouver's team is really offensive, so I feel like this team, this game is going to be really fast. You know, it's going to be like back and forth, losing Mons, I think. I think, you know, the Dunsparce is potentially problematic. On Vancouver's side, I think, you know, uh, there's a lot of Pokemon that can do some good stuff. Um, <laughs> hey, we... I, my, uh... Uh, you know what? Let, let Let's move on. No comp because I don't want to give anything away for this. You know what I mean? Because me, me and Anthony make the teams, like make the team for the together for this. So yeah, like... no. I, I, I'll the only thing I'll, I'll say is that this week I'm gonna win, and it's not gonna be because of luck. It's because I'm gonna dominate. That's what. That's what I'm gonna All say. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. gonna go 100 to zero in my favor. Okay. Well, well, you you go. You can do. I'll your... go, I, I do think this is in your favor. I'm gonna go 60 40. Because okay. I do think Salt is a pretty good player. Um, I, I will. I will respect Sada. I'm not gonna. I think uh, Terra I to I could also be good, but I do think Terra to Dunsparce is better personally. I think either could be viable though. Yeah, and I think Excadrill is also pretty good this match. Um, yeah, that's what I'll say. We'll move on. <laughs> All right, here's another interesting one: the Lion City Leech Life versus the Nevada County Counterpeas. Um. So Lion City with a, a bounce back win against Crown Point. I like his use of Golden Go there. This matchup, Golden Go is going to have a much harder time because Golden Go doesn't actually beat any of these Pokemon except for Sylveon. It can beat Scizor, 
but it's gonna so it's gonna get knocked off by the two things it beats. It beats Rillaboom, it beats Scizor, but it's gonna get knocked off by them. It beats Sylveon, but the other four, like Dragapult, Shadow Ball's tough, Dark Ride, Dark Pulse is tough. Maybe you could be um Colber. Colber focus blast and try and catch the Dark Ride or just you know eat a knockoff. That's all viable. Volcanion's tough. But uh, you know, Volcanion's actually a really, really decent um answer to uh water pond. Especially if you have like the defense to take the grass move, I think like you're you're looking pretty good there. Uh, water. You also have Rillaboom, who's a pretty great answer to Water Pond. So I think this Water Pond can't be set up. I think it should be like U-turn, uh, just like either four attacks or like U-turn with spikes or something like that. I think you don't want to get greedy. He has brought the two cannon twice. Uh, bring Vicavolt, dude. Especially make Vicavolt Terra Electric, please. Terra Electric Vigvolt would actually own this game because this guy's uh, electric uh, or it, ground pipe is Sandy Shocks. I, I, uh, Vigavolt, Vigavolt owns. I, I would bring Vigavolt. I would make it Terra Fairy maybe so it can uh, you know eat moves from Darkrai, eat moves from Dragapult and hit him with a Terra Blast and do really good damage. I would have Volt Switch and I would have Bug Buzz and I would make you know Vigavolt be do just to do his, a ton of damage. It does really a, a, a boatload of damage to the opponent's team. Um... Ursaluna Blood Moon, also pretty good in this matchup, in my opinion. Sylveon's there, obviously. I would maybe, instead of being like a lock-in or pure damage because Sylveon's here, try and set up a Calm Mind. I know it's not common in Draft League. Get a little greedy. Click Calm Mind once. See what happens. Because um, he doesn't have like a great switch into like, uh, after you get to plus one, if he goes Sylveon, doesn't have a great switch into the Hyper Voice. And um, like, even if you're not, don't get the Calm Mind up, you can still Hyper Voice and he has to go like Scizor. Um, I do think, like, from the, the Caterpie's side, because the Dark type is a dragon as well, Dragapult is really, really good here offensively. Uh, like, Specs, maybe, or Expert Belt, or something along those lines. I think it could be really, really dangerous for Lion City. In fact, uh, now that I'm looking at it even more, I think it's really crazy good. I think Darkrai, with, like, Poison Move, Dark Move, Nasty Plot, maybe Ice Beam, is also, like, really, really crazy, because it's faster than everything. And, you know, you get the plus two special attack and all of a sudden you don't really have a Mon. That, you know, we saw it happen with Dio Speed. One nasty plot, he doesn't have anything that outspeeds. Might need to be like a Scarf Gardevoir to deal with that. So then, again, like Sylveon seems pretty important. Like a Max Spideff Sylveon to deal with, you know, Special Hydreigon to deal with um, Ursaluna Blood Moon to deal with Vicavolt to deal with our Gardevoir. Uh, I actually kind of am seeing the line for Caterpies now. I'm kind of talking my way into it. But I do still like Lion City's match up slightly more. I think I'm going to go 55-45 in favor of Lion City. What do you think, Vancouver? Uh, I would say, looking at the, the team, I think the Caterpies just have a little bit more offensive pressure than Lion City does, just at least in this matchup. Um, but yeah, the if he did have Terra Electric Vicable, that'd be, that'd be really good. He doesn't have a lot of... Uh, answer that was, there wasn't a lot of answers to that on Caterpie's side um i don't mind his terror captains but he definitely could have like if he picked um sandy shocks as one of his terror captains right like uh, that that is available or that that is option it's, right it's really he, high but yes it is yeah option. i think it's like what is it let me see all right it's one yeah it's 120 and it, you only get one terror but i still i think terra sandy shocks is really strong yeah terror with yeah, is pretty good yeah, no, that that'd be that'd be another option, maybe just for a future week if you decide to do it. Um, I think Sylveon, uh, besides like Golden Go, um, could pose a, a threat to Lion City either just being like a bulky could be could be set up, could be could be not. But as as I far as like a be set up as long as Golden Go exists. Although I think it gets yeah. Shadow Ball, so maybe like Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, Wish could do it. That could something be like that. Yeah. Yeah, that could that, that that could definitely work. Um, but yeah, like a um, Darkrai and Dragapult, both like just both of them, just really strong special attackers. Just um, being able to just put on immense like offensive pressure. Dragapult doesn't always have to be special or even like a a primary attacker. It could be some kind of like Will O' Whisper or something else yeah, like it that. It doesn't have to be, but here it is. The yeah, definitely. Here it's really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I. I um, I could see Rillaboom also for this matchup. It deals with deals with Ursaluna. Um, could help with Golden Go, uh, especially if it's like a you do offensive Rillaboom with like Grass Glide. 
um, just to like get it out there and just put in some like good like a, it's a good breaker as well, just like on the physical side, um, as well as like Scizor as well too. That that both re really good. Honestly, Caterpie just has like two strong like special and physical breakers just on on both sides just to be able to yeah, put like really good the offensive Volk, pressure. They got the Volk and yeah, they, they've got good good mons at the top five for sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I would say, what, what was your split? I said line, I said line city. So if we could, you know, go, other, yeah, we could split it. I think. That's yeah, good. yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll go with the uh, Nevada on this one then, for sure. Right. I'll, I'll say, I'll say like sixty forty Nevada. Yep, another split. I like it. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next game. That's it. Is that it? Is that All it? Right, oh, good. okay. All right. Well, I look forward to the the matches this week. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that everyone's gonna has a good match. We get them all scheduled in, and no soaring always looks for that every week. Um, but oh, yeah. yeah, I hope uh, I hope everyone has a great week. All right, peace. Bye.